All right, KUM Sports is coming at you like we never left, and I have the distinct pleasure of being joined by a good friend of mine, Coach Dom Sablon, over there at Clutch Guam Sports at Guam Elite Basketball. And basically, like anything that you see on Guam that is cool, Dom had something to do with it. And uh, and Dom, thanks for joining me, bro. Half day. Thank you, Jace. I, I appreciate every time you guys have us on. So we're my team and I were really grateful. Thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, the one thing that I know um, the sports community is really grateful for is um, one of the projects that you, shall we say, you spearheaded it, you you organized it, you set it off with that wonderful art project for a lot of the island's uh, basketball courts. And I was just wondering, you know, since a few weeks have passed since, you know, um, uh, the courts were redesigned, how are the players actually taking ownership, you know, of those courts because it was for them? And, you know, um, how is how have they been received? Yeah, I mean, the, the project was awesome. Um, you know, the, the reception for the community has been great uh, unfortunately i haven't had a chance to go and revisit the court since the conclusion of the project mm -hmm. uh, but i have uh, visited a couple and you know just from the artwork itself and giving kind of a safe haven for these kids especially the kids right i mean basketball courts as you know as we as we get a little older uh you know the the whole outdoor and cement kind of the wear and tear on the body so yeah it, it really was for the youth of guam and you know we get we get tagged on a daily whether it be you know kids from astumbo going out to astumbo gardens you know showing us sending us videos of them playing or going down south to the agate the, the agate basketball court and the agate community sending us videos and kind of tagging us and really being appreciative of the artwork down there. I think it speaks volumes of, you know, the entire team and everyone who was involved, right? Uh, Lisa Nicholas, AKA the few King was instrumental in, in on the art side and really bringing out, um, you know, what the village represents and trying to portray that on the mural themselves. So the reception has been good. Um, I haven't ha heard any negative uh, complaints about any of the courts. I think, you know, just walking onto a court and seeing a really full sized mural just brings out a sense of pride and, you know, wanting to go back and continue to play there. So it's Very been great. Cool. Now, the interesting choice of words you use there, coach, because you were saying like tagging in the Instagram sense that, you know, people are actually like letting you know and they're making a reference so that you can see what's going on. But I kind of liken this to like when the Dedido Skate Park first went up and, you know, for the skate community, they were like, wow, people took the time to do this out of love for us. So, you know, it's not going to get like all marked up or, you know, it's not going to be, you know, vandalized or anything like that. And, it, and you know, like I said, I mean, they really uh, had a sense of let's take ownership of it. Let's protect this and let's take care of this because, you know, this is a resource given to us to do what we love to do. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that was that's the bigger the bigger picture of this entire project, right, is art and basketball. That's that's one aspect of it. But it's when the community comes to that court and they see you know, for example, trash on the ground or they see someone, you know, not really taking care of the court, they're going to there's there should be that sense of ownership. And that was my biggest hope for this project is uh, these communities to come in, take ownership, like you said, and keep the place clean, keep it, uh, you know, have a watchful eye out. Right. So that's that's I mean, if we've accomplished that, then we've accomplished our goal. Sure. OK, so what else what else have you guys got going on uh, these days at Clutch? Because, of, of course, you guys did the aerial videography for um uh, for the courts. And I mean, I, I love those drone shots that you guys have. I mean, it's a basketball court. It's wonderful art and it's a drone shot. I mean, like that's that's basically like a Neapolitan Sunday, in my opinion. <laughs> oh, definitely. So, I mean, it's, it's not to say that these these other projects are kind of, uh, you know, something that we don't want to continue to do, but. Uh, at the end of the day, the reason why we started, you know, this brand was to, you know, um, cover uh, sports on the island and in a different way. Right. So we're kind of going back to that. We're we're starting to get out more to the high school games now that high school sports are in full swing. Uh, we want to get a lot more into the storytelling aspect of, of what we do. Um, and then as far as events, uh, one thing we do have coming up, it's we haven't really released all the details yet, but uh in November, we will be uh, collaborating with uh, Guamali basketball. Obviously, I'm, I'm involved with Guamali basketball, but we'll be working with with Guamali basketball to put on uh, its third annual All Island Alumni Basketball League. Uh, Very so nice. basic, yeah. So pre COVID, it was it was a really great league. Pre COVID, uh, we ran two of them, and it was one of our more popular leagues. Um, so basically, it's you know different generations 
coming together to represent their alma mater and play a tournament. So, um, GW, we're coming after you. <laughs> you just had that as, as an FD grad, right? Well, I'm yeah, going to say, actually, you know, GW. Long, t- long time member of the Team Guam uh, national team, Jino Han, is actually one of my classmates from uh, from St. Anthony's. And then he went to JFK and I went to Sanchez. So, you know, like we may have to, uh, I may have to D him up at one point, but you know, he's going to destroy <laughs> me, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, JFK, Sanchez are always tough teams. Red, I mean, all the, all the local greats are, you know, they play in this tournament. Reggie Retrobon plays, uh, Jin Han played in our very first one, JP Cruz plays. So, and then you got obviously the younger generation coming up, stepping up. So it's always interesting to see um, the rosters that teams put together because we'd get guys that just graduated a couple of years ago playing with a 20 year vet like JP or right. Jen, a Jen Hot or a Willie Stanette. So it's, it's an interesting tournament and it's not rosters that you would typically see, but it's always nice to go out and, and try to, you know, represent your alma mater. Mm-hmm. So talk about that for a sec, coach, because w- what do you see as far as, you know, um, I mean, we, we take a, as athletes, we take a lot of of our cues from, you know, um, from the people playing at the next level. You know, when the style in the NBA changed from, you know, you see stretch fives, like big men shooting threes and everything. So you guys kind of like at, at Guam Elite Basketball kind of incorporate that into your techniques out here. What do you see, though, generationally as like maybe the way when guys played when you were a point guard at FD and like what um, the way kids are playing like now? And when you put them all in the same court together playing in, you know, like diverse styles and everything, that makes for a real exciting game. Oh, for sure. So, I mean, for anyone that's been following, at least I could speak for basketball in the last 20 years, you you see the evolution of the game, you know, beginning obviously at the NBA level, college level, and, and it's trickled down to the youth. I mean, when you're talking skill for skill, a lot of these kids nowadays, it's you could train on your own just by watching a YouTube series and understand how to train the right way as opposed to like us growing up and and the generations before me it was more like you know you go to national practice or you go play pickleball with your uncle at the local court right so uh skill levels will always vary um i would i would say and i'm sure a lot of them would agree with me that there was a kind of a stronger sense of toughness back in that day just because mm-hmm. you had to be right. I, I remember um, what it was like to play. If you could get some court time with you and with you and your friends over at the Santa Barbara courts in Dedido, that, exactly. that was that was tra- that was training ground right there. Man. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So, um, you know, and it's just the the times that we live in today, right? I mean, the have the kids gotten softer? I, I think in an overall spectrum, yeah, you could say that, but their skill has really improved. I mean, you're talking; these kids are pulling off moves in games and in practice that I couldn't even imagine doing when I was their age. So mm-hmm. it's kind of that give or take, right? But it's it's an entertaining style of basketball. I, I really enjoy watching uh, the youth of Guam play at a high level, whether it be on the under 15 or under 17 Guam national team, whether it be in these high level local tournaments that, that we play in. But one thing I always, one thing I wish we had was footage of a Willie Sinet in high school, a JP Cruz in high school, just to show these kids that, you know, we're not just talking. These guys really were there before you and played at a very, very high level. So um, JP, Will, if you have game footage, shoot it over and, I would love to show these kids. You know, I think I think we might have something, some some stuff in our archive and everything. When Double D gets back from vacation and everything, I'll, like I'll uh, I'll hit you up and we'll we'll, uh, we'll put a tape together. That would be awesome. That would be right. great. All right. So that's yeah. Coach Dom Sablon over there at Clutch Guam and Guam Elite Basketball doing fantastic stuff for Guam's athletic community. Coach, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank Pleasure you, Jace. I appreciate your time. Thank you. All have right. a good day. All right. You too.